What's up, YouTube? Mataze Dana. I'm Deyasha. There's something we need to speak about. And I was going to talk about this with you guys last month. But I decided against it because I figured, hey, things might be different. And guess what? They're not. They're not different at all. Oh, you're a Vegeta fan? Are you really? You're a Vegeta fan? You know who doesn't give a fuck that you're a Vegeta fan? That man right there, Akira Toriyama, doesn't give a fuck about your feelings. He don't care if you're a Vegeta fan. You're a Vegeta fan? That's great. Goku. Look me dead in my face. Goku. Goku. That's what matters. Not you. Not Vegeta. Listen, we not gonna read this. Cause we probably gonna get clapped if we go ahead and show the whole panel. So we're not gonna show the whole thing. We're just gonna go and skim through it. And we're gonna talk about the whole chapter. We're gonna talk about it as a whole. Actually, we're gonna talk about this one. And we're gonna talk about the last chapter. So the first thing I wanna talk about is this godlike, godlike, super godlike transformation. This transformation has to be one of the coolest things I've seen since Super Saiyan 4. And I don't care what anybody says. A lot of you may not like Super Saiyan 4. But guess what? Super Saiyan 4 and Super Baby 2 were the best things to come out of GT. Regardless of how you feel about GT. Super Baby Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 were OD. It was That was a sick transformation and that was a sick arc. I don't care what anybody says. You cannot change my mind. Not gonna happen. Shut up, bitch! But what I will say is that this transformation... Whoo-wee! That shit was clean. His eyebrows came off. Godlike. How could you not like this? Look at him. Look at him. And the one thing that I want to talk about in this chapter, right? He's beating the paste out of Granola. Beating his ass while talking to him. Laughing. Looking like a crazy head. You see him whooping that ass. Throwing him around like he got a one frame command grab. Like he's Zangy for something. Or like a grappler like the diva or some shit. Just chucking him around by his scarf like a little bitch. Look at him, throwing him around. Oh, you about to shoot at me? Don't matter. Come here. The one thing I want to say, the hotter my battle soul burns, the stronger I grow. Like, what are you, the hug, bro? I get angry so I get strong. So you already had the Zenkai boo shit. Now you got this shit. I'm a god of destruction. So the more mad you get me, the stronger I get, right? That's cool as fuck. So all I got to do is sit here and take damage. Look at him chucking him. That's an anti-air grab. Anti-air. Don't jump. Scoop. Just, uh, that's godlike. Look at him. Get off me. Strongest in the universe, my ass. Vegeta, the prince, all Saiyans. Throwing him into his memories. Oh, you mad about these buildings that we destroyed years ago? I wasn't even a part of it, but I know what your problem is. So I'm gonna throw you into them. I don't care about your buildings. I don't care about your past. Hold this. Look at him. Kicked. Gut. That man is in pain. Crazy. Look at all, look at the destruction. Look at this. God of destruction. No eyebrows. Vegeta Sama, Prince, Saiyans, all of them, Vegeta. Take a minute to look at that face. That face is godlike. That face gives you hope. I had hope reading this. Had. It's like he's an entirely different person. He gets stronger by taking damage. And what's a god of destruction? This is your mistake, Vegeta. Why are you explaining shit to him? He don't need to know. He's trying to kill you. Smoke this fool. Nah, I'm Vegeta. I'm a Saiyan. You need to know. You need to know. So he tells him, right? Our battle has awakened it for me for the first time. This innate power within me. So people used to say that this was the curse. Vegeta-sama, prince of all Saiyans. This was the curse. No, 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 no. Whenever he refers to himself, that is the curse. This power within me. You fucked up. You know why? Because we have imposable thumbs. We're not animals. We don't have paws. We have thumbs. And when you do this, you're still pointing to yourself, Vegeta. You fucked up. You shouldn't have did that. You should have just beat his ass. So now he knows that the battle awoke in his power, right? And then earlier in the chapter, he explained to him how you clearly don't know. You clearly have no idea what you're doing. You're not a warrior. You just wish for powers. You're a bum. He told him that, right? So now he's sitting here taking... All this damage because it's going to make me strong. Now he's got a shield. You know what Vegeta says? Fuck your shield. Fuck your shield, bro. Granola. Go get a better name, son. Vegeta. Saiyans. 
prints. But we got to go back one because Goku's technique is called Ultra Instinct, right? Now, there's been people talking about it all over YouTube, how this is called Mega Instinct, right? And I thought that was a shit name, to be honest. I'd rather just be God of Destruction Vegeta or some shit like that because Mega Instinct, trash, right? But then he goes, I call this Ultra Ego. Can we zoom in real quick? Hey, editor, can you zoom in? Oh, thank you. Ultra Ego. You're a Vegeta fan? You know who doesn't give a fuck that you're a Vegeta fan? Toriyama. Vegeta is trying to explain to him. He's trying to tell him, we're not the bad guys, bro. I'm up here fucking you up for no reason. We're not the bad guys. Frieza's the bad guy, which is my favorite character. He destroyed our planet. We are not the bad guys. You know what fucking Granola says? Even though he's got oatmeal in his head, talking to him, telling him, yo, maybe they're not so bad, right? You know what Granola says? Fuck you, revenge. The chapter itself, right? Like, we're, we're, we're not done, but the chapter itself is fire. The art is fire. These panels are fire. Fire. Look at my man's Vegeta. Got duffed in the brain. And what did he do? Tatsumaki Senpuka. Straight to the fucking skies, bro. Get out of my face. Vegeta. Saiyan. Prince. So now, Granola's tight. He's pulling out all the stops. I'm going to fix my... Scarf, and I'm going to make my eyes red, right? Let me show you my powers, because <laughs> you're not the only one that goes stronger as he fights, right? I'm just going to chuck buildings at you. And as I'm chucking buildings at you, they're blowing up on impact, which is actually insane. And I fuck with it. I think it's dope, right? The problem that I have is that he was getting his ass whooped the entire chapter. Now, he's just strong. Even though Vegeta's been training with Beerus and learned his new form, right? This guy, as he's gaining battle experience, gets stronger. But the thing is, right? Vegeta's a god of destruction. He's in ultra ego. He can, he can fight, right? Like, he gets stronger as the more damage he gets, right? The more damage he takes. That, that's what it is, right? All right, so we're just going to take off our armor. Because I took a lot of damage. So we're just going to skip so we don't get clapped. Now it's an even fight. Vegeta just got this transformation 15, 20 panels ago. Pages ago. He just got this transformation. It's already equal. We're about, I don't know, almost done with this chapter. And he's already equal with him. You see all this blood and shit gushing from his face and his hands. But it's cool. Let's keep this up. I can grow even stronger. I'm with you, Vegeta. Get strong. Fuck Kakarot, bitch. Nobody likes you. Vegeta. Saying. Prince. Granola shoots a shot at this man. And he just moves out the way. Oh, so you can dodge. This whole time you was taking damage. But you can dodge. That's because we ain't stupid. Vegeta. We not gonna eat this blast. Because it might kill us. Even though we get stronger. As we're in this. Transformation, right? Let's keep going. Goku wakes up. Blah, 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 blah. Now he has healing abilities. He can heal himself. That's cool, I guess. When did he get that? Oh, well. So Vegeta's just sitting here eating all of these attacks. Eating all of them shits. Now, oh, here it goes. Here it goes. I can't see no more. Vision blurring. I took far too much damage. Vegeta powers up a big-ass ball. Looks like a, a Hakai ball, which is fire. I love when characters do this type of shit and summon loads of energy that destroys anything that it touches. Granola has a trick up his sleeve. Now he has two red eyes. Two red eyes is enough to stop a god of destruction. If you could just destroy Hakai balls, right? Look at this shit. Boop. Gone. Big ass explosion. No more. No more. Everybody's shocked. Look at this shit. What is this? This is the panel right here. This is the panel. Damn it. How did he? Ugh. Ouch. Pant, pant. How did he? How did this happen? How? 
I have to thank you, Saiyan. You're responsible for drawing out this power of mine. Isn't that... I could be wrong, but isn't that what he did for Vegeta? That's... That's what he did, right? He pulled out Vegeta's power. But since Vegeta powered up first, he lost. Because it's Dragon Ball. And Akira Toriyama doesn't care that you're a Vegeta fan. You're a fan of Vegeta? The rest of this shit, like, it'll just lead into, you know, the next whatever. Um, the next chapter, but... Yeah. Vegeta fans rejoice. Now, I will say this. It's too soon. Vegeta still has a Sensu Bean. Goku has healing powers. It's too soon to be upset. But what I will say, it's over. It's over. I wanted to come on video last month and say it's over. Even though that transformation, chef's kiss. That shit is fire. It's not doing too much and it's not doing too little. Fire. The earring, the hair, the eye, no eyebrows, fire. That's all I need. And he's like, fire. Perfect. But it doesn't matter. You know why? Because his name's not Goku. His name's not Goku. So eat shit and die, I guess. That's just how it goes for us. So, but anyway, that's my two cents. I'm a Vegeta fan. I prefer Vegeta, especially in Super. I prefer Vegeta over any other character except Frieza, because Frieza's my man. But, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the hell's bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos. And don't forget to check out our Patreon. All our links are at the bottom here, as you can see. Uh, and if you like content like this, I will do more of it, uh, you know, specifically for like Berserk and stuff like that. Uh, but I intend to do videos like this for every chapter going forward because we know what the fuck is happening. Why are we still Dragon Ball fans? Why are we still Dragon Ball fans? Like, I can't, I don't even, I don't even know why we're still Dragon Ball fans. Why are we still Dragon Ball fans? I mean, you could be a Dragon Ball fan, but why are we still Vegeta fans? Why? They're just going to do him dirty. The best Vegeta got was against Broly. The new Broly. Super Broly. That was the best. Where he didn't get clapped up like how Goku did. Goku took that ass whooping, not Vegeta. That's the best we got. But, hey man. I'll see you in the next one. Don't be a Vegeta fan. Because, fuck us.